Hello, my name is Ted O. Um, currently, I'm, I'm a teacher. Uh, I teach junior golfers and professional golfers, and I'm teaching in you know, Los Angeles, California. Uh, I've been playing golf for 35 years. I've been professional for about a good half of that. You know, so I turned pro early, so I was a pro over 15 years. I grew up in the U.S. and my amateur ranking was number one in the world. And just recently, about four years ago, when I stopped playing, uh, I started teaching. And uh, fortunately, I had a chance to teach from the beginning uh, LPGA and PGA Tour players. Last year or so, I've been also teaching juniors and amateurs. And I'm here to help you guys to learn more, understand more about golf swing. And instead of trying to copy some pro swing, I'm gonna help you guys understand the golf swing. So find a golf swing that matches your body type, your height, and your age. So hopefully, uh, as we go down in the next few sessions and videos, uh, you could, I'm gonna help you try to understand more about the golf swing. Hi, my name is Adri. Um, so I've started golf probably about when the pandemic started. My average score is about 90s, trying to get to the 80s. Um, I would definitely like to improve my, um, my distance for sure and just enjoy and have fun with the game. How long have you been playing? Year? Yes. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, so this is Adrian. Um, I'm gonna try to analyze her swing. So the pros are, if you look at her swing, her her setup is, I mean, it's fabulous. Um, her posture, where her setup clubs, everything looks really good. We're gonna take a look at her backswing. That's really good. Coming down. It, the backswing is pretty good too. Really good. Uh, and three. And her arm plane is perfect. She's, you know, she's keeping her posture pretty good. Looks really good. Her lower body, she has perfect amount of uh, hip turn. Very good. It's, it's very good swing. Coming down. She's taking the shot. Like I mentioned, like last time, she came out a little bit, but it's still pretty good. It's impact. Staying the shot. Set up and good looking. Perfect balance finish. That's really good. So if I want to point out a couple things. Overall, it's very good swing again, given that she's only been playing for one year. Uh, how many times a week do you play? Probably three times. Wow, this is pretty good. Um, let's take a look at her swing. So if you <coughs> set up, take away, it's almost perfect. So where the problem is, on the top of the swing, it's the starting of the downswing. So this is called casting. So what happens is, starting a down swing, instead of initiating that turn with their left shoulder and left pelvis opening up, what she's doing is, if you saw the last frame before, she's starting her swing with her right hand. She's kind of casting right there. So what happens is, she's trying to swing with too much dominant right hand, that's making her stay go all the way down on the shot. So instead of rotating to the left side, what she's doing is using her right hand and casting, that when she's casting, she can't transfer the weight, it's going down just a touch. So, and then when she comes down, yeah, so right there, so if you could see her hand, when she's hitting the ball, instead of a little shaft lean, she's casting a little bit, and which is causing the loft 
So this pitching wedge, she's actually adding a little loft to the club, and which she'll hit the ball high, but she cannot maximize on the distance. But I'm being very picky. Um, I'm trying. I'm analyzing this swing for like an LPGA player. I mean, for somebody who only played for one year, it's a very good swing. Uh, the one way we're gonna try to fix this is <clears throat> when she sets up and takes it to the top, what I'm gonna do is, you go ahead, take it to the top. Good. I'm gonna hold on to that shaft and come down, slow turn, and make you really feel that right there. Do you feel that angle right there? Yeah, we're gonna try to maintain that angle. And then when she comes down, turn your hip slightly more. There you go. She's still gonna feel that angle right there and the club head's gonna be more square. Her, her previous swing was she was casting a little bit and was leaving the club face a little open. She was hitting it straight, but she wasn't, she wasn't maximizing her distance because she didn't have that ang holding the angle and a shaft lean. I know it, it, this is asking a lot for somebody who just played for one year, but the way you uh, swing the club, I think we can make this work. Sit up again, take it to the top, come down, stay tall, turn. There you go. We want to feel that right there. Take it to the top, hold that angle. Okay, let's just try a couple hit, couple. Uh, let's sit. First two, first next ball, uh, just half swing. I'm just feeling that angle right there. So, good. 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 So as you can see, her previous full swing was 90 yards. And she did the last one, it was almost like a half swing, but since she kept that club face angle with a little more shaft lean, the, she hit at 82 yards with the half swing. So let's go one more half swing. Very good. Very good. So if you see that one, it's, it was 89 yards. Her whole full swing, one before, was 92. But just doing this half swing right here, she almost hit it, if you could see right here, bottom right, 80 total distance, 89 yards. Um, we'll take a look at that swing right there. To the top, really good. You see that she's maintained that angle right there? Right there, that's the angle we're talking about. And then, Yes, you see that how she's maintaining that angle again right there? And she's ma definitely maintaining a lot better right there. So even though she did half swing, just her maintaining that angle, she actually hit a far same distance as a real full swing. So very good, Adrian. Yeah, so do your homework uh, for the next couple of weeks when you go into driving range, local driving range. I would do a lot of half swings and just feel like you're holding your angle. I'll show you again. Go ahead, take it to the top. Good, and then stay tall and turn. There you go, really feel that angle right there. Good, and that's, that's called kind of, we're trying to prevent the casting and then increase more shaft lean and lag in her swing so she can maximize her distance. Thank you. Non-casting swing will that allow me to not have a dip on my swing? Yes. So that focusing on that non-casting, it's not necessarily going to fix your upper body. So, but so you have to kind of do both. On a full swing, you still got to feel like you're maintaining your upper body, but you also got to try to maintain that casting. So, casting is for more distance and power. You fixing the upper body is for our consistency. So next time, that's why when you're swinging down, I was holding your head up. So making you kind of stay tall and hold the angle better. And so then we could initiate our downswing with the left shoulder and left pelvis instead of right hand. Yeah.
Thank you so much. Thank you.